teased. If you guys enjoyed the intro or enjoy what you see here, go follow SM underscore battle underscore stories on Instagram or get some work done yourself. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, I'm going to be taking you guys through my updated WWE action figure display. As you guys know how we do here on the channel and in my collection, I always display the figures with all of one superstar up next to each other. So I start with the beginning of their career, and then I put them in chronological order all the way up until current day. Um, that's something I started with my collection since the beginning. I just love the way that looks. Last time we did this video, I uh, only showed you guys this section, like I only showed you this portion of the room, but today we're actually going to be going through these sections as well as this side of the room because I got a ton of questions asking where certain superstars were, and um, I didn't have the last, I didn't have those other sections the last time we did this. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start over here and go through this entire setup, and then we'll go to the other sides of the room and take you guys through my updated WWE action figure display. So I guess we can start off on the bottom left hand side guys, as you can see we're going to start at the bottom here um, of this section and you can see that uh, there are often sections. We have the Brock Lesnar section right here, the Universal Champion, and as you got, actually his is not in chronological order for some reason, but there's the Brock Lesnar's. We have Chris Benoit, we have some Stings right there, another person that's not in chronological order, not sure, maybe these people over here aren't in chronological order. I don't know, but I know for a fact who is in chronological order, and that is Seth freaking Rollins, starting here in NXT, and then we have his shield looks. We have an updated shield look that's right there, but I decided to just put it there instead of later on in the timeline. But we have uh, a few custom Seth Rollins through here, his authority run, then we have WrestleMania 31, 2015, SummerSlam, going into the Slammy Awards, we have his return at Extreme Rules, then we have, you know, a few of those in that attire. Then we have Elite 52 Seth. We got WrestleMania 33 going down into SummerSlam to the Royal Rumble. WrestleMania 34, Monday Night Rollins, SummerSlam 2018, and then we have three custom fantasy attires at the end there. Beautiful Seth Rollins collection. I think I have 40 or so. Comment down below. I think I have one across the room too, so let me know down in the comment section below how many there are. If we get into this section, guys, we have the Kofi Kingstons, and you guys can see from the beginning we have Kofi Kingston, and then he comes all the way down here. So it's actually kind of hard to believe that Mattel has so many Kofi Kingstons made. Then we go into the Big E's, and then into Xavier Woods. It's only right to have New Day all up next to each other, am I right? Moving on down, we have Dean, Mean Machine, Ambrose, as I like to call him for some stupid reason, starting off with his first Elite, and then we go all the way down, and you can see most of his figures are pretty much the same, and I think there's another Dean Ambrose across the room, but that's for my roster shelf, as you guys will see. And then we end off this section, the first row, with the Rated R Superstar Edge. Moving up from the Brock Lesnar, guys, as you can see, we start off with Shinsuke Nakamura, Nakamura, the U.S. Champion right here. Um, again, I don't know why these aren't in chronological order. But uh, we have Shinsuke, we have Shane O'Mac, the best in the world. For anybody that's clicking on this video and doesn't know, you know, Shane McMahon won the Crown Jewel World Cup Tournament, which is supposed to declare the best in the world, so that's why I call him that. We have Neville's, only uh, three Neville's right there. We have Trash Corbin, my custom Trash Corbin figure, absolutely beautiful, from Fig Skib. We come into the middle, and we have one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. We have Triple H, starting out with Hunter Hearst Helmsley at the beginning. Going into his first DX run, we got Corporation Triple H on into his return in 2002. We got some Evolution Triple H's through the middle right here. Absolutely love these Triple H's, such beautiful figures. We got the Walgreens exclusive with my custom handlebar mustache Triple H head scan. We got some later 2000s right here. We got the DX reunion coming up right there. We got COO Triple H. We got, you know, his when he started shaving his head there. Got his all black look. His WrestleMania 31 attire. WrestleMania 32 attire. We got Rumble, Royal Rumble 2016. All the way up until WrestleMania 34, I think, or 33. Can't remember. And then we have the all white fantasy Triple H. And of course, we have our authority Triple H there at the end. Going into the corner, we have one of my favorite superstars of all time, Y2J Chris Jericho, starting out with his debut in the back corner. Then we have the Attitude Era, a few customs through there, and some of my favorite attires. We got the Defining Moments, Chris Jericho, WrestleMania 18, Chris Jericho, a 2005 era Jericho. 
We have his, uh, you know, trunks of tires with his shorter hair. And then we have the Festival of Friendship up to current day, waiting on his return. Love Chris Jericho so much, so I would love to see him return very soon. Then we go into the Kevin Owens, had to put him by his best friend. So we have Kevin Steen, and we have his NXT looks up to the main roster. Kevin Owens show a few customs here, Money in the Bank, Fight Anyone Attire, KO Mania, the Red KO, Hell in a Cell, a few customs there. And then we have SummerSlam up there. And I think I have a few other Kevins over there, maybe one or two. But that pretty much does it for section two. We're moving up to section number three. So we move up from the Shinsuke Nakamura's guys. We have the Bobby Roode section, three of those. We got a couple Zack Ryder's, a couple Cesaro's, a couple Braun Strowman's. We have Samoa Joe, three, every Joe there. The other Joe is on the Vindication shelf. We have my boy Randy Orton, my second favorite wrestler of all time, starting out with Armageddon 2003. I want to get a debut, Randy Orton, but. We have SummerSlam 2004, we have a few Elites that I need to get customs of, that's why there's four of the same, I need to make those into custom Randy Orton's, but then we go into WrestleMania 24, we got Royal Rumble when he won his first Royal Rumble, Elite 9, we have the Shooting Star Press, RKO to Evan Bourne, SummerSlam 2011, Money in the Bank, we got TLC, we got some 2014 entires, WrestleMania 31, Royal Rumble 2017, WrestleMania 33, we got uh, WrestleMania 34, we have a fantasy attire, another fantasy attire, and then just three sort of spread out right there. And then we have my custom Funko Pop Randy Orton on that shelf as well for my boy Rodney. And as we come from the Randy Orton's guys, you will see we have my boy Kurt Angle section. We got uh, all of his looks up till uh, the Shield reunion at TLC where he had to join the Shield for a night. Absolutely hate that figure, but I uh, had to put it in the Kurt Angle section. We have Sami Zayn, patiently waiting his return, looking absolutely beautiful. We have Matt Hardy, got quite the number of Matt Hardys here, starting out with Team Extreme, then we have V1. We have uh, pretty much a Hardy Boy reunion right there. We have his ECW look. We got his return look. And then, of course, we have his green pants look. After him, we have the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels, starting out with his Rockers attire. And going on into his other figures. Some of these are repeats, but I need to get some customs made. ton of Shawn Michaels missing, but uh, I will add these. We're going to have to probably find a new section for Shawn Michaels since it's so packed right here. But loving the Shawn Michaels figures. Moving up from Bobby Roode, guys, we have the club figures. Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. We have American Alpha. Um, I'm going to skip over John Cena. We'll do John Cena at the end because uh, I have the most of him. We got Kane. Over here, got some beautiful masked and unmasked canes. Then we move into an updated section. We have Batista starting out with his evolution look, moving on into his singles run, later 2000s, and then of course his 2014 return. We have sort of a fix up in there. Blue Tista, and then I made this custom for what he would look like if he returned today. Looking beautiful. Then we have Rey Mysterio, one of his best friends there. Got all of Rey Mysterio's looks. Still missing a little bit of them, but loving that ringside exclusive Flash Ray Mysterio right there. And then we have the one with the bum foot there at the end. Coming back over here, we have the leadest section. If we move up from the club, Macho Man missing a few right there. I know that's not accurate. We have Big Show, and then we have Gold Dust. And since there's not many more over here, we'll go ahead and go to the top. We have Daniel Bryan, which is missing a few. We have Goldberg, MVP, Ryback, and R-Truth. And if we skip over to this side, um, on this shelf, we do have the Stone Colds. As you can see, we're missing, you know, stunning Stone Cold, but uh, you guys can see the looks of Stone Cold over the years. And then I figured uh, what better way than to put Stone Cold and The Rock on the same section. So then we go into Rocky Maya Villa, and then we have the progression of The Rock over his career. And I have a few customs I need to get up here, but you guys can see how it works out. Quite the number of rocks. I really didn't realize how many I had until just now, so. That's pretty incredible. And if we move up from Stone Cold, you guys will see the big dog Roman Reigns praying for Roman Reigns every day. And he's going to come back stronger than ever. But here's the big dog section. All the different colored vests and everything as he's rocked through his career up to current day. We have my uh, custom Roman Reigns bloodline fantasy. And then we have my all white attire and United States attire Roman Reigns. So there's the big dog. And then we end up this section with uh, the most controversial superstar probably ever. We have CM Punk here. 
Would like to have a few more of these, but um, hard to track down. They're very rare, very expensive as well, so uh, I'll track them down one day, but there is CM Punk. And then I guess we can end off this section with John Cena. Starting with his debut, we have his word, life looks. We have his runs from like 2003 to 2004. We got WrestleMania 21. We got post-WrestleMania 21. We have 2005 where he got drafted over to Raw. SummerSlam 2005. End of 2006, feuding with Edge. We got 2007. We got his 2008, 2009. All of a lot of these are custom made because Mattel never gave them to us. We got uh, 2010. We got his 2011 tires. And you see the one without the hat right there? That's because he took a plummet off the shelf, and I cannot find his hat. I'm gonna have to order another hat. Uh, very disappointing there. But we have his 2011 looks. We have his 2012 looks. Breast Cancer Awareness into 2013, all of his different t-shirts that he rocked through 2013. All the Breast Cancer Awareness ones, we have his Royal Rumble 2013 win right there. Moving on down, we have his 2014 looks in the lime green and black. Moving on down, a lot of them are supposed to have championships on them, so if they're shirtless and they don't have their championship, it's because I had to take them all down for my belt collection. But Moving on, we have uh, 2014, we have our 2015 looks in the blue, United States champion, the orange and green attire, I'm missing his green shirt attire because I uh, haven't found somebody that can make the shirt the right color, so I'm waiting on that. We have his 2016 attire where he returned from the Ellen Show with those shorts. We have his two different shirts, we got the circle logo which he wore when he returned from Ellen, and then we have the square shirt that they uh, changed it to. And then we have his 2017 looks with the respect in the blue and orange, different versions there. And then we have his current day look, which is outdated now, the green shirt with the whole colorway. And then we have my custom Lance Catamaran John Cena Elite and an armband of John Cena's that I caught at a, a, at a SmackDown Live event. So that pretty much does it for this section over here, guys. Now we're going to move on to my Balor's and my roster shelves. So over here guys, we have my Finn Balor shelf, one of my favorite shelves, I love Finn Balor to death. We have the Elite 41, we have the Elite 60 or Elite 59, can't remember there. We have my custom Terminator, Finn Balor, we have my white Phantom Fantasy Attire, Finn Balor, my IT 2017 Remake Fantasy Finn Balor, Prince Devitt in his Freddy Krueger, Spawn Prince Devitt, Punisher Prince Devitt, Venom Prince Devitt, we have the Network Spotlight Takeover Dallas Finn Balor, Entrance Greats Elite Finn Balor, the Ringside Exclusive Custom Fix-Up Elite Finn Balor, another TakeOver Dallas Finn Balor in his entrance gear, NXT TakeOver The End Finn Balor, Wrestle Kingdom 8 Prince Devitt, Anti-Venom Prince Devitt, The Joker Prince Devitt, a Fantasy Attire Balor, Christmas Fantasy Attire Finn Balor, Fantasy Attire Batman Finn Balor, the Elite 46, the SummerSlam Elite, the Top Talents Finn Balor and the WrestleMania 34 attire. And then we have my Mutant Finn Balor and then the Horror and MDT Battle Royal Champion Jack Gallagher on there for no reason. Moving down into the Vindication roster guys, you can see um, all these on display. Some of these obviously will be on the timeline, but since this is the roster shelf, um, I have all these together. That way when I'm filming the show over here in the arena, I can just quickly grab them from the shelf and I don't have to go over there, get on the chair, get up there, take them down, all that ish, but we have the white cult there, Drew McIntyre, Bullet Club coming up, Mr. Money in the Bank, Adam Cole, all of the champions of Vindication, we have the elite champion, Kenny Omega, Iron Man champion, Rusev, revolutionary champion, Miz, and the MDT tag team champion, Young Bucks. And then moving down into the MDT live roster, you guys can see here, Got New Day, Sandman, got the Usos, No Way Jose, Neville, Rated RKO, Kevin Owens, new pickup from Vindication, Dolph Ziggler, J Jeff Hardy, Chris Jericho, Seth Rollins. And as you guys can see, there's a couple figures here that obviously would go in the timeline, like I said, but uh, they're over here on the roster shelf so I can get them down. And then we have our champions of MDT Live, the World Tag Titles belong to Roman Reigns, who just turned on Dean Ambrose with the Usos, but uh, Dean Ambrose is still Tag Team Champion. We'll see how that lasts. We have the Extreme Champion, John Morrison, U.S. Champion, Shelton Benjamin, and the MBT Champion, John Cena. And after we have these shelves, guys, we have to move over into the last section, which is my Ziggler's, Hardy's, Undertaker's, and AJ Styles.
So now with AJ Styles, guys, we have the WrestleMania 34 attire, the Elite 47 fix-up. We got Elite 47, custom AJ Styles, Elite 61, another Elite 61, the Network Spotlight, another Fantasy attire, and then I think it's Wrestle Kingdom 11 AJ Styles, or 10, I can't remember, but there's the AJ Styles section. Need a few more. I'm missing um, quite a number of, t of attires there, but I don't like the body mold that Mattel gives him, so I'll probably need to, uh, I have to do a lot of part switching to get those right, but uh, I'll probably get some later on. Moving up, we do have the Jeff Hardy section, as you guys can see. We have a couple customs at the beginning. Got some Elite Shop exclusives. We got the Elite 57, another Elite 57. We got the Entrance Greats Fix Up. We got a custom Jeff Hardy in the pink from TNA, and then we have the Epic Moments. And then we move down here, we have The Undertaker starting with the beginning of his career. And then all the different looks he's rocked through his career here. We got Dead Man right there. We got American Badass. We got the best Undertaker Elite ever in the dead middle. And then it goes on. So it's kind of like, uh, I, I want to put it in timeline order. But um, it's it's up about, it's in timeline order up, to, up until like right here. Then we have two random ones thrown in there. And then of course we have The Undertaker in the middle that represents... Um, Undertaker perfectly so there is Taker and then ending it off guys we have my boy Dolph Ziggler section starting off with his career there and then going through Money in the Bank all of his different attires World Heavyweight Champion then when he switched to the long tights and all the different events that he wore his attires and then we have my uh, fantasy sort of fix up that I use on my pick fed and then we have my MDT custom Dolph Ziggler as you guys know I'm a huge Dolph Ziggler fan and I have my plaque there cashing in, autographed, and yeah, everything. So the Dolph Ziggler section is all together here. But that pretty much does it for all of my figures on display. But that pretty much does it for my full WWE action figure display, guys. Again, um, I wanted to update you guys because I did make quite a few changes to it, and I've added a lot of figures. So hopefully we won't have to do this for a while. Maybe I can do one um, right before the new year or just after the new year. I know I'm going to do a collection video and, of course, a room tour because I always do that at the end of the year with the room tour and everything. But uh, that pretty much does it for this video, guys. Let me know down in the comment section below which section you like more. Let me know uh, what figures you like. Comment that down below. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.